featuring the Paralympic champion, and the 5,000 meters world champion from this week, Samuel Kamani. Wada won bronze in that. Five on the line. Samuel Kamani. 5,000 metres champion this week, the reigning Paralympic champion over 1,500 metres and 5,000. He's won the last two Paralympic 1,500 metres crowns, including on this track. Lane four for Poland, Alexander Kosakowski. Bronze in the 1,500 metres in Grosseto on the Europeans last year. The former European 5,000 metres champion for Portugal, Nuno Alves and his guide, Jose Ferreira. Lane two for Ecuador, fourth in the 5,000 metres here, Darwin Castro and his guy Sebastian Rosero. And on the inside for Japan, the reigning Asian 1,500 metres champion, one of three titles he won in Incheon, Shinya Wada. He won bronze in the 5,000 here. So again, it's the first two to go through, plus the next two fastest losers and Kamani the world record holder from London 2012. So Wada, Castro, Alves, Kosakowski, and Kamani are the five in this, and Kamani a little slow to get inside, but he is the reigning Paralympic champion, so he's got confidence on his side. The Asian champion Wada coming out in front straight away, and up his work in Ibaraki. Silver in the marathon, his first major big success, along with that 5,000 metres bronze medal at London 2012. Kamani hanging around the back noticeably at the moment. What a leading for Japan, ahead of Kosakowski of Poland. Only major championship medal, that 1,500 metres bronze medal in Grosseto, the Europeans last year. Alves tucked inside. Kamani moving up slowly to third place in the outside lane three, with three laps to go. So Wada takes him through as Kamani moves up on the outside. He's currently in third position. He's the reigning Paralympic champion. And Kosakovsky in second. But Wada doing it out in front and all the work so far on this opening lap. Kamani running a couple of lanes wide at the moment. So he won't want to do that for too long because he's running that extra distance with his guide. So it will be a case of trying to get through on the outside there and either get up in front or just sit back behind in third place on the inside to try and save those legs for the latter stages. But as it is, it's Wilder in first, Kosakovsky in second, and Kamadi, who's in third place with his guide, James Boyd, as they come around with 200 metres remaining on this second lap. Wilder, there's been no change at all in this lap as they've headed around. He stays first. Kosakovsky making a move now on the outside, slightly there, but then pulls back. And Kamadi now still running out wide in that second lane with plenty of extra work to do. That might hurt the legs towards the end. It is the first two who go through to the final, who qualify from this race. Kamani now, he's decided that enough is enough. He's got James Boyd, they've moved down the outside into second place, and they'll try and slip in there, perhaps, behind Wada, who goes across with two laps to go, holding the lead still. So Wada and Kamani now is outside with 800 metres remaining in this 1,500 metres T11 heat. Kamani's move continues, and he hits the front. That was obviously the tactic throughout that he's had planned in advance with James Boyd, leading with 700 remaining, precisely where he wants to be, the lead to defend with Wada in second place, Kozakovsky in third, behind them a good gap, about 20 metres towards Castro and Alves in fourth and fifth. Samuel Kamani so successful, silver in this 1,500 metres in Beijing in 08, and he's won the last two Paralympic crowns over the three and three quarter lap distance from Eldoret in Kenya, James Boyd, very good athlete in his own right on the IAAF circuit. Wada defending second place, Kozakowski is going to make an attack on him on the outside shortly. Moved out to lane two, lane three, to make that move, to move up to the second place. But as they approach the bell, it's Kamani, it's Kozakowski, and it's Wada. And Kozakowski's making a big move to the lead of the bell too. And here goes Kozakowski as they bell. Oh, Kamani's almost slipped. Kamani's just clipped his guy's ankles there and he almost went down. He's managed to hold his feet. That would have been tragedy indeed for the man from Kenya. But he's kicked again now. But it's Kozakowski out in front. Remember, it's the first two who go through in this heat. So at the moment, it's Wilder of Japan who led for the first 800 metres or so who's been dropped off the pace. Kamani's putting in the big ones to try and catch up there. 
with the man from Poland, Kozakowski, and his guy Sylvester Lebhards. But there's no need really because the first two will go through. We'll see what the time is though because they're really pushing around in that last two, three hundred metres. As they come into the home straight, it's Kozakowski who leads from Kamani in second position, and it will be those who goes through. It's a case now of whether Kamani really wants to put in the effort to get over there and get that psychological advantage by finishing in first place. But it's Kozakowski who still leads, but the gap is narrowing as they come down towards the line. Will Kozakowski hold on for the win? He does at that. And then Kamani comes through in second place, 4.14.08 the time for Kozakowski. Kamani in second, just slightly behind. Wider who comes through in third, in fourth position. It is Wider who comes through in third. At the end there is the Portuguese athlete Nuno Alves who comes through in the final position. Well, Wider who left for the first 800 metres or so of that lap. In the third lap, it's really where he got overtaken. Kamani came around, but then Kozakowski decided enough was enough. The pole wanted to get around there and take some of the glory. He did that. The first two, they go through. We'll now have to wait to see who goes through as the fastest qualifies. Yeah, 4.14.07. Kosakowski, very, very good move. Very good win because it honestly looked as if Kamani had pitched everything right. But at the bell, Kosakowski made the most significant move of all. Kamani comfortable in second place, it was the first two to go through anyway. Wada very top of this stage. Kosakovsky's acceleration really helping Kamani, dragging him along, not wanting to be left behind. Wada, nothing much left in the tank. Should be okay in third, but we'll know that in a few seconds. Kosakovsky coming through to win. Nice psychological advantage for him. In his head at least over Kamani going into the final. Kosakovsky winning this heat. 414.07 lifetime best. Kamani in 